Everyone loves a good stunt, but not everybody wants to do it themselves. And to Rocket Lab, with 11 launches under their belt, the Electron rocket just completed its biggest milestone towards reusability. So what happened? Electron rocket launched from the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand with 34 small satellites on board. The rocket is relatively small in size at about 18 meters tall and on its way back instead of letting it land in the ocean somewhere a helicopter caught it. How crazy is that? A Sikorsky S-92 helicopter commonly used for oil and gas and search and rescue operations snapped it midair and made Electron only the second vehicle after SpaceX's Falcon rocket to become reusable. But why even try to catch it from a helicopter? I mean that's a crazy idea. Why wouldn't you just follow SpaceX? Thing is it's a different application, different size of the rocket, and the, the size of the rocket is just about right to make this possible, whereas SpaceX's Falcon is a lot bigger and cannot really be caught this way. This is not a new idea, however. In 1960, US Air Force snagged a returning capsule mid-air for a mission called Discover 14. That was obviously for the Cold War era, and there was a lot of spy imagery of the Soviet Union, but that's a different story for another day. But now you're thinking, how does it all even work? One hour before launch, our Sikorsky S-92 helicopter moves into the landing area 150 miles off the coast of New Zealand, and two and a half minutes after the Electron rocket's taken off, and it's like 70 kilometers altitude, the booster stage, also known as the first stage, separates from the second stage which then continues on into space but the booster stage then starts its descent back to earth now this descent is at an insane speed of 8300 kilometers per hour and the rocket has to face temperatures of up to 2400 degrees celsius that's an insane amount of temperature and to protect the rocket booster it's been fitted with extra heat shielding inside so by the time we catch it it's at least in somewhat reusable condition the electron booster then deploys a drogue parachute at an altitude of 13 kilometers and this helps slow it down enough that at six kilometers altitude then the main parachute can be deployed which then slows it down to about 36 kilometers per hour a speed at which a helicopter can try and move in and try and catch it so the helicopter that's been waiting in the drop zone at this point it's got a line underneath and it comes in it snags the parachute line and in this way it captures the rocket and takes it back to the boat from where it initially launched this isn't just for showing off or like proving hey we can do things differently this will actually be a really good thing not just for Electron but for the space race because now we've got another reusable rocket that can be deployed for small satellite missions and because a lot of money is going to be saved it could be passed on to the customers or Rocket Lab could then use this money and do something even more cool in the future. By protecting it from the salt water and the ocean the metal is going to be a lot more easily recoverable and the rocket could be put back into the same condition as before. But as cool as it is, you would be thinking, hey, is this reusability even worth it? And I'm here to tell you, yes it is. Why? Because of the Earth's gravity, the first stage, the booster stage that we just captured, it is two-thirds of a rocket. Think about it, that is a lot of metal, that is a lot of material. So recovering it makes sense. Anyway, what do you guys think? Thanks for watching, stay curious.